My family wanted me to become a doctor mm -hmm. and I, I uh, compromised and, uh, with them and did nutrition and dietetics yes. at my bachelor's level and then went on to do my master's in sociology and my PhD in social gerontology, so essentially social sciences. But it was not a very easy decision. Uh, my husband was very supportive. Uh, I got married early, so he knew the value of social sciences and he always pushed me in the direction, telling me that you know there's a lot of scope in this field. And as I got more and more exposure, I realized the value of uh, social sciences and the way we think uh, and how important it is as a subject for the society, and, you know. So, and then here I am today. Yes, I do feel that, um, uh, especially since I've been in the teaching field, I've often seen the disparity where a lot of emphasis is given on science subjects um, and uh, even the students are valued more uh, f you know, for their critical thinking skills and analytical skills when they take science, whereas a social science student might not be seen in similar light. So yes, there are, uh, there are disparities in where this, they see uh, science students and uh, how they view uh, social science students um, and there are also regional disparities. Uh, in South India I would say there is a lot of emphasis on science education and some of the colleges do not even offer uh, social sciences as an option. I, I just feel uh, of course, there is a sort of internalization on the importance of science and a lot of students do take STEM subjects and especially computer science and computer related subjects. But uh, those students who are interested in social sciences are going places and they are recognizing the potential in the subject. But then you need to let lead your heart lead on. And I think that's very important. Um, and I think we are reaching there. Uh, slowly the emphasis has been shifting. Students who are generally interested in social sciences are moving on to social sciences. And often I do see uh, students from you know, engineering backgrounds also make the move. Uh, you know, they might be an electrical engineer and then move on to do international relations. I know three students currently who I'm counseling who are making this switch. Students are, you know, with the media and sort of exposure students are getting, they do understand that, you know, to get certain types of jobs, it might be important to take certain, uh, you know, accrue certain skill sets and this would be through a different form of education, which should not be available to, these skills cannot be accrued through, um, you know, science education. And therefore, uh, they're making the switch and going to master's programs uh, in international relations, political sciences public health and so on and so forth. So they are diversifying, but often the first degree is professional degree in engineering or um, a science field and then they go on and move into non-science fields. Plan, 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 very important. Research well, uh, know what it takes to get into a good university find the ideal match. So the top universities in the US might not be the ones made for you. You need to find the match for you, just like you, it's like a marriage. Uh, find the right course and uh, know why you're going for this, going to this particular university for this particular course. And know your career goals well, uh, because that's what is going to help you identify that right university.